Hi friends, welcome to my at home music classroom. I am so excited to be back with you after our long break and I want to start with our breathing ball because I think that this week is very exciting and it's a lot of changes are happening with being at home now and I think it would be cool if we could all just take a moment to just really unite ourselves through breathing and breathe together and let go of maybe some of the stress you might be feeling, some of the worry and just breathe in some good feelings, some joy, some laughter. So as our ball gets bigger, we're gonna breathe in and let ourselves fill up with air and then it gets smaller and we'll breathe out. Okay, here we go, ready? Breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in again. Breathe out. This time as we breathe in, I want you to think of something that you might be worried about. And then as we breathe out, I want you to just push it out of your body. Get rid of all the worry. Just breathe it out, okay? Think about something you're worried. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe out the worry. Let it go, let it go into the world. Mm, it feels good, right? Let's do that one more time. Breathe in. And breathe out. Wow, thank you for doing that with me. And remember, you can always take some deep breaths if you're ever feeling worried. Now, I know we had a long break and I am hoping you all had a great time at home, maybe with your family, maybe some friends, I don't know, whatever you did, I hope it was fun. I was able to spend some time with my family and eat some really good food and just relax and it was really, really nice, but I missed you all very much, of course. And I would love to hear about your breaks. If you wanna either make a text box on this page over the video or you can add a page to the activity and you can either do a video or write something down and tell me about your break if you did something exciting or maybe you ate some really good food, if you had turkey, I don't know. Um, but I would love to hear about it. I hope it was really wonderful and relaxing and I hope you're ready to get back into music and do some awesome stuff today. So I have my bubbles here that I thought we could do a little warm up, kind of moving our voices around with our bubbles here. So I'm gonna blow them and I want you to find a bubble on your screen and follow it with your voice. So if it goes up, you're gonna go ooh, and then it goes down And if it goes off screen, you can go and watch it pop. All right, are you ready? Let's find some bubbles here. Ooh. Oh, and they're all over my keyboard. That's good, I'm gonna back up so I don't get it quite as much on my keyboard. Did you find a bubble? I hope so. Let's see what happens if I do it this way. Ooh, they're all going down. They're all going down towards the screen. I'm gonna blow them up this time. Make sure you're finding a bubble. Okay, here we go. begin moving around a little bit I think we should sing a song that we know pretty well and you know it, it's because I had some really good apple pie this weekend and I just can't stop thinking about it so I'm just thinking about apples and I'm thinking we have a song about apple trees apple tree do you know that song can you sing it with me apple tree Should we sing it 
one more time. Join in this time if you know it. Ready and a uh, here we go. Apple tree, apple tree. Will your apple fall on me? I won't cry, I won't shout. If your apple knocks me out. And there is our song about apples. Now, you might have heard this word before. The word of the day is rhythm. Now, think in your head, think about what rhythm means to you. When I say the word rhythm, what comes to mind? What do you, does it make you wanna dance? Does it make you wanna move? Are you thinking about tapping your feet? Maybe you're thinking about some notes. You might be picturing some, some things. Maybe you're thinking of our rhythm syllables, ta, ti, ti. Or maybe you're thinking about clapping because sometimes we clap rhythms. Of course, rhythm is a part of every musical thing. It's very important in music because it's basically one of the building blocks when you're thinking about music and what makes up music. Rhythm is one of those things that's really important. And so our apple tree song, it has rhythms in it. And I'm wondering, I have a really big challenge for you and I think you can do it, I believe in you and I'm gonna do it with you. But what would happen if we only clapped the rhythm of apple tree. Now, that's gonna be really tricky because you might get kind of lost in the song. You might forget where you are. What if you tried to sing the song in your head? Take a moment. Can you hear the song in your head? voice singing and it was just like in your brain. Could you hear that? That's really cool, right? So we're able to do that and you can sing the song in your head and clap the rhythm, the way the words are moving. Apple tree, apple tree. But we're not going to speak or sing at all. Do you think we can do it? Why don't we try first with singing and clapping just to get to feel what it feels like. So clap and sing. Ready and a uh, here we go. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apple fall on me? I won't cry, I won't shout, if your apple knocks me out. How do you do? You sing the song, because we know the song pretty well, and then you just kind of clap along to what you're singing. Now, let's take away the words and put it in our head. Apple tree, apple tree, and we're going to clap. That's the only thing we're gonna hear out loud is the clapping, okay? Do you think we can do it? I think we can, let's try it. Ready and a uh, here we go. How'd you do? I was kind of mouthing the words along. Why don't you try that too? If you're getting a little bit lost, you can mouth the words and hear the music in your head and then we'll clap, okay? Ready and uh, here we go. Cool, awesome job. Thank you for doing that with me. Now, I wanna just take a quick second to review our rhythm syllables because they're a little bit new to some of us, I think. And so I want to make sure that we understand what they mean. So first, the most basic one that shows up all over the place in music is ta, right? It's just the one note, ta. So we have ta in our apple tree song, right? Ta. Now what about those other ones, the ones that are two notes? Do you remember what that was? Can you tell me? T T. So we have T T ta, T T ta. And those are the only ones we're going to be worried with today. Is just T T ta, T T ta, T T and ta. Now, I have a special request for you. If you need to pause the video, you can, but you should have gotten 
a music kit from me. That's funny when I talk into the cup, it sounds weird. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Now in this music kit, it was a bag full of goodies from me. And you each have one that you should have brought home with you. If you don't have one yet, or you lost it, that's okay, that's okay. Um, you can let me know and we can try to get you one if you are missing one. Um, but for right now, you can just keep clapping or you can tap, um, whatever works for you. But if you have your music bag, you can run and get it, you can pause the video. And I want you to find one cup. There should be two cups in your bag. Um, I want you to find a cup. And then one of these sticks. This is like a drumstick, sort of. And this is going to be our drum for today. Now, I think something is really cool about this cup because there's many different ways that you can tap it as a drum. You can hold it like this with the opening at the bottom and you can hit the top of it. Or you can hit the side of it flip it over and have the opening on top and you can hit the top or you could even go inside the cup there's so many different ways that you can make music with just these two things and that's really cool so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna hit the side of it because I think that's really comfortable and nice so what I would like you to do is tap on your cup the rhythms that I'm gonna show you. So, I have some nice rhythm cards here. Hopefully you can see that. There, that's a little better. Now you can see them. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold it up and I want you at home to tap the rhythm that you see. I'll count you in. And I want you to first tap it. Number two, you're going to tap and speak the rhythm syllables that belong to each of these notes. So this one is pretty easy. What are each of those notes? Do you remember? Ta. So it's four ta's. Ta, 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 ta. So first, have your stick ready to tap your cup. Ready and a uh, here you go. How'd you do? Are you ready to speak the taws with it? I'll speak with you. Ready and a uh, here we go. Ta, 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 ta. Pretty good, right? Let me try that with you. It's just four taws. Ready and a uh, here we go. Ta, 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 ta. Cool, good job. Let's see what we have next. There it is. Got something different this time. What do you see? What's that third note? T, T. We have a T, T this time. That's exciting and new. So, first, just Tap it on your cup. Ready and a uh, here you go. Good, how'd you do? Let's try speaking the rhythm syllables with this one. Ready and a uh, here we go. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Good job. Let's see what's next in my fancy pile of musical cards. Ooh, we have some more TTs. And remember, these just have TT and TA, so you should be able to know. The ones that are two notes stuck together, like they're holding hands, that's TT. The one that's all just by itself, that's TA. So here we have TT, TT, TA, TA. Can you try tapping that on your cup? Ready and a uh, here you go. Let's try speaking it. Ready and a uh, here we go. T T T T ta ta. Good job. All right, let's see. What do we have next? 
even more TTs. Let's go ahead, let's try it. Tap your cup, get your stick ready. Here we go. T, 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 Ta. Very good. Can you speak the syllables with me this time? Ready, and a, uh, here we go. T, 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 Ta. Very good. Hmm, now this one has more ta's than tt's. Let's try tapping it. Ready, and a, uh, here we go. Let's speak the rhythm syllables with it. Ready, and a, uh, here we go. T, T, ta, ta, ta. Cool. I think this is our last one. Let's have this be our last one. All right, you ready? Tap with me now. Ready and uh, here we go. T T ta T T ta. Let's add those syllables. Ready and uh, here we go. T T ta T T ta. Awesome job. That was wonderful. I am so proud of you for learning these rhythm syllables with me because it's such an important part of music and you maybe don't think about it a whole lot, but it's going to help you become a better musician and really get the rhythms right when you're singing and playing songs. And it's fun that now we have our own little drum to play. Now, I have a special assignment for you. And it's going to be on the next page. But first, let's take a look at what you're going to do. Hello. So here is what the worksheet essentially is going to look like on your Seesaw page. There's going to be four boxes with four different rhythms. And on the left side, you're going to see all of these words. And each of these words has a rhythm that matches the way that it's spoken. So your job is going to be to move these words into one of these four boxes, depending on what it sounds like. Now, as you're doing this, I would like you to speak each of these, but we're gonna speak them together first so that you know kind of what they sound like so that it will be easier for you to dis determine which box to put them in. So let's start at the top. Here we have the word job. So if I counted us in and we spoke the word job, this is what it would sound like. Ready and a here we go. Job. Hmm. Okay. So did you hear how the job took up one note and then there was a note that I didn't speak anything and it was just silent, right? Let's do it one more time. Ready and a here we go job. So which box do you think that this word would go in? Mm -hmm. This first one. Let's see what that would sound like if we put job with this note. Ready and a uh, here we go. Job. And see this right there is a rest. That means there's silence during that note. And job fits that box. So you would move job there. Now there'll be other ones in this column that are also going to fit there. Let's see about the word occupation. Ready and a uh, here we go. Occupation. Hmm. Let's see. Let's count how many notes that word took up. Occupation. Occupation. There was four. That means we're going to need four notes. Do you see a box that has four notes in it? One, two. Hmm, that one has two. This one has one, two. Hmm, what about this one? This one has one, two, three. No. How about this last one? One, two, three, four. <gasps> Four notes. You know what that means. Occupation must go there. Let's see what that would sound like. Ready and a uh, here we go. Occupation. <gasps> well, we know where occupation goes. Let's try doctor. Let's speak that one. 
Ready and a uh, here we go. Doctor. Okay. See if you can find the box that doctor belongs in. How about nurse? Let's speak nurse. Ready and a uh, here we go. Nurse. Hmm. Let's do firefighter. Ready and a uh, here we go. Firefighter. Officer, here we go. Ready and a uh, here we go. Officer. Okay, lawyers next. Ready and a uh, here we go. Lawyer. How about secretary? Ready and a uh, here we go. Secretary. Hmm. Are you feeling pretty confident with this? I bet you can do the rest all on your own. Just speak them out loud like we've been doing and then decide which box fits the word. Good luck.